This is Narmada, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about the unit third of introduction of introduction to Python programming. So first is the Boolean values. Boolean data type have two values. They are zeros and ones, which is represents the false and the true. True or false are the keywords of the Boolean values. The next is the operators. Operators, operators are the constructors which can manipulate the value of operands. Consider the expression 4 plus 5 equal to 9. Here 4 and 5 are called operands and a plus is called operators. Types of operators, arithmetic operators, comparison, assignment, logical, bitwise, membership, identify operators. Then conditional if and alternative execution. If is, is used to test a condition. If the condition is true, the statements inside will be executed. So this is the syntax. The next is the if if else statement so if the condition is true the true statement will be executed if the condition is false the else part will be executed the next is the chained conditions if elif else so the elif is short for else if this is used to check more than one condition if the condition one is false it checks the condition two of the elif block if all the conditions are false then the else part is executed the next, next nested conditions, one condition can also be nested with another. Any number of conditions can be nested inside one another. In this, if the condition is true, it checks another if condition 1. If both the conditions are true, statement 1 get executed, otherwise statement 2 gets executed. If the condition is false, statement 3 will be executed. Then, iteration or control statements loops. So, the state, while, for, break, continue, pass, these are the statements. So transition is nothing but the transition from one process to another process under specified condition within a time is called state. The while loop, while loop statement in Python is used to repeatedly execute set of statement as long as given condition is true. In while loop, test expression is checked first. The body of the loop is entered only if the test expression is true. After one iteration, the first expression is checked again. This process continues until the test expression evaluates to false. The next is the for loop. For in range, we can generate a sequence of numbers using a range of functions. So range 10 will be generated numbers from 0 to 9. So in range functions have to define the start, stop and step size as range. A step size defaults to 1 if not provided. Loop control structures. So the loop control structures nothing but break continue and pass so break statements can alter the flow of loop it terminates the current loop and executes the remaining statement outside the loop if the current loop has else statement that will also get terminated and comes out of the loop completely continue it can it terminates the current iteration and transfer the control to the next iteration in the loop the pass it is used when a statement is required syntactically but you know don't want to uh, any code to execute so it is a null statement nothing happens when it is executed the next is a fruitful function a function that returns a value is called fruitful function void function a function that perform action but don't return any value return values return keywords are used to return the values from functions uh, parameters or arguments parameters are the variables which used in the function definition parameters are inputs to functions Parameters receive the input from the function call. It is possible to define more than one parameter in the function definition. Types of parameters or arguments uh, requ uh, required positional parameters, keyword parameters, default parameters and variable length parameters are the types. The next is the local and global scope. The global scope, the scope of the variable refers to the places that you can see or access a variable. A variable with global, global scope can be used anywhere in the program. It can be created by defining a variable outside the function. Then local scope is nothing but the variable with local scope can be used only within the function. The next is the function uh, composition and recursion. Function composition is the ability to call one function from within another function. It is a way of combining functions such that the result of each function passed as an argument of the next function. In other words, the output of one function is given as the input of another function is known as function composition. Recursion, a function calling itself till it reaches the base value stop point of function call. For example, for recursion is the factorial number. The next is the strings, string slice, mutability, string functions and methods, 
a string module. A string is defined as a sequence of characters represented in a quotation mark or double quotes. A string of size uh, one can be treated as characters, single quotes, double quotes and triple quotes. The operations on strings are indexing, slicing, concatenation, repetitions and memberships. String slices, a part of string is called string slicing. The process of extracting a substring from a string is called slicing. Immutability is nothing but Python strings are immutable as they cannot be changed after they are created. String built-in functions and methods, a method is a function that belongs to an object. String modules, a module in a file containing Python definitions, functions and statements. The next is list as an array. Array is a collection of similar elements. Elements in the array can be accessed by index. Index starts with 0. Array can be handled in Python by module named array. To create array, have to import array module in the program. The syntax is import array. Thank you.